Hi everyone. Um, in this JavaScript tutorial, we will learn to how to interact um, with the users. Uh, now, interacting with the users means that you want to show them some message, or you want to uh, want to uh, take some input from the users. Now, if you have done program programming in C previously, so you had scanf and printf, put care, put ch type of function, and all those functions are basically used for user interactions. So um, there have to be something in JavaScript that allows us for that type of interaction. Now, one very popular or very largely used. Uh, message or uh, message showing thing or user interaction thing for showing message is that the alert function al your thing alert then opening parentheses and then you simply give your message what you want to show say welcome to my to my web page page done and uh, semicolon let's load it in the web browser let's see what it does and you got your dialog box now one thing is there when you are in the dialog box you can't switch back to the web main web page so in order to go to the main web page you have to click on ok either or you can click on the close button say you're clicking on the ok and you are on the web page now so with the alert function what it does basically it takes the focus into himself into the dialog box itself from the web page and wait for the OKR close button to bring the focus back to the web page again and obviously you can use it several times A O E R T say uh, hi again I'll add this thing. So let's again test it in the web browser. F5, you click on OK, and then another um, window comes or dialog box comes. Message from web app, something like this. So click on OK, and you are on the web page again. Now, I want to tell you something that I've been using a semicolon after each statement in the JavaScript. Um, you 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 may not use this thing you can simply type those statements without the semicolon and it will work fine let's see you can see it has worked fine but uh, for practicing purpose i would recommend you to use these semicolons because uh, it's a nice programming habit and it gives you a clear indication when the uh, statement ends so this is it for this lesson mm, thanks for watching this video